You are part of my life. You are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Beard check. Beard check. check. Beard check. Captain No Beard is back in town. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be making sense of life through the room. I think this movie could be best described as a modern Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> it follows Johnny, just Johnny. Uh, no one has a last name in this movie except the drug dealer. And it follows his day-to-day -day life as he is planning to get married to his partner, Lisa. And it goes through the trials and tribulations of his life as things get a little dicey. You know, they are engaged to get married. They have a birthday party for Johnny. Johnny finds out that Lisa no longer loves Johnny. In fact, loves his best friend, Mark. Johnny can't take the betrayal and he offs himself. Other key characters are... Mark, Johnny's best friend. Lisa's mom, who has, definitely has breast cancer. I definitely have breast cancer. And then Denny, this kid that likes to watch Johnny and Lisa get it on. The movie is about, uh, is about... I don't know what the movie is about. <laughs> Apparently the original ending was he was we were gonna find out that Johnny was a vampire and he had a flying car. Maybe that would have been a better ending, who's to say? Yeah. It's hard to know in the edit what works and what doesn't, you know. I think that the movie is mainly about betrayal. <laughs> and toxic friends. And toxic friends. Johnny did not have one good friend in the world. And you find that out once something happens and you realize that there's no one to turn to, no mm -hmm. one that actually has your back. And that's what happened at the end. It's over! It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with his world. I don't wanna talk about it. Lisa, you're gonna have to face it. I mean, I for one, I'm gonna have a hard time forgiving you if you don't. One of the friends is like, well, I don't know if I can really respect you, but then I'm like, well, do you respect yourself for the fact that you don't tell your friend, yes. Johnny, about the situation? Is it right to say when you know that your friend is getting cheated on? Yeah. I think the multiple answers to this, mm -hmm. if you have had a conversation with your friend and said, this is what I'd like, if my partner is cheating, I would really appreciate you telling me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that conversation was never had, then what do you do? Right. For me personally, this is how I would go about this whole situation. I would tell Lisa, because Lisa told that girl, yeah. and say, look, I'm not comfortable with this. We're all of us are friends. You're bringing yeah. me into this. You're making this my business now. Yeah. It wasn't before when I didn't know about it, yeah. but now you've made it my business by confessing this thing that you're doing to my friend. Mm -hmm our mutual friend. And so for me personally, I wouldn't be okay with allowing my friend to continue to stay in a harmful situation. And so I would be honest and say that. And so if you're not gonna say anything to my friend, because I would prefer for my friend to live in truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If I'm seeing a friend in a relationship, I would like at least for them to, if they're deciding to stay in that relationship, they should know the full details. For Johnny, he's staying in that relationship thinking that there is fidelity in it. Yeah. Even if I believe that they should end things, yeah. if he decides to stay, it's fine, but mm -hmm. he's staying with all of the information. Yeah. And for me personally, I feel like I would appreciate having that information to make that decision as to whether or not I'm gonna continue with Lisa. And Johnny yeah. doesn't have that. And I would have this conversation with Lisa and say, that is where I stand. And I feel like if you don't say anything, I will have to, I want to. I want yeah. to be the kind of friend who does not allow their mm -hmm. friend to stay in a toxic position. Yeah. that will ultimately lead them to getting hurt. There's so many things that could mm -hmm. happen. Just the, the emotions, yeah. investing your emotions into something. It's hard to let go of something that you've mm -hmm. actually invested in emotionally, never mind financially or anything else. And that is not fair mm -hmm. for me personally. And that's why I'll do it. And we talked about this before recording mm -hmm. and we said yeah. like- We were trying to figure out like how close do you have to be with the person before you feel like that's not really my ball of well, the monkeys, that's not really yeah. my, uh, it's not, that's not for me to get involved in. That's where it depends. It kind of yeah. speaks to how these people felt about Johnny. Yeah. As much as they were like, no, Johnny's our friend. We care about him. He's yeah. such a good guy. Phony I friends. don't know. They if say you, this stuff. You say your friends, like but friends. exactly. Yeah. And so that so. then says to me, maybe you guys weren't close after all. Because I'm like, it is a valid question. How yeah. close do you have to be to, it's like, to go that extra mile? Like, and I think you do have to be close. Yeah. Like, you probably, you know, someone that you just care a lot about their well being, that you're like, I'm willing to do a lot of awkward, uncomfortable things, bringing up something where if I bring it up to the person I care about, they're probably initially going to be upset with me just exactly. because they're going to hear bad news and yeah. they're going to want to be in denial about it or and, embarrassed. Yeah. And so you're willing to take the hit. So yeah, you definitely have to, to be very fun. close with the person. You know, there might be some people that do it because they're, they're not good. 
Uh, yeah, they, they just want to cause like, issues. Yeah. They find out there's clear evidence, and they and can be like, "Oh, look, look what look, look yeah. what your partner's doing." Yeah. But they don't they care about anyone. They just want to rub it in your just, face. They just like want to see the world burn. Ultimately, the friends. It's true what he does keep saying. Yeah. He doesn't have anyone. Uh, I feel like in general, Johnny is a very precious. lonely person. He acts kind of desperate. Yeah, he attracts someone that was going to take advantage from the start, and she enjoyed taking advantage of him for a bit, but now she's bored. And I mean, I think that's the way of those kinds of relationships, really. If you are someone who's desperate, you want love, and you'll take it no mm -hmm. matter how it's showing up. Mm -hmm. If you're lonely, mm -hmm. and you are desperate for some kind of company, you expose yourself to people like that. Mm -hmm. Because those kinds of people, you're their prey. Mm -hmm. And the way you behave, you let them off the hook all yeah. the time. He's doing that oh, yeah. all the time, letting yeah. them off the hook, turning a blind eye to the mess that is the people in he, his life. He's in the same room it seems like to Mark and Lisa when he hears them wanting to get together and leave Johnny behind and, and he, sticks and he her still out. Sticks her he out. decides to need to get recorded evidence but he still then Even throws he him had evidence. okay with the party and he just keeps taking it and taking it until it, it's too much. And you really do have people like that. They have plenty of evidence mm -hmm. to the fact that they should leave yeah. the relationship. But yet no matter what, and yet they'll still say, "No, I need more evidence. Yeah. I need photo <laughs> evidence, written a written statement, evidence. a written, statement. A written yeah. statement before I leave." Yeah. So it's the fear, I think, of having to accept the fact of your reality, not it's wanting hard. to deal with your loneliness. The loneliness. I swear, yeah. being lonely is a beast of nature it because is. it will trap you mm -hmm. in awful relationships like Johnny was trapped in. You know? Yes. Truly. Yes. Very sad. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Positively, being alone is is challenging in so many ways, especially when you're not very happy with yourself because that means that you're with yourself a lot more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Denny, that kid, he's getting the star treatment from Johnny. He is, yeah. Johnny is paying for Denny's school, taking him on as uh, as yeah. his own kid. Yeah. Even with Denny getting involved in drugs, Johnny forgives, for he understands. Forgives, forgets, even when Denny's like, I'm in love with your fiance. It's about Lisa. Go on. I think I'm in love with her. Go on. I know she doesn't like me because sometimes she's mean to me, but sometimes when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her that I love her. I don't know. I'm just confused. Danny, don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too, as a person, as a human being. Oh, it's okay. Water off yeah. that's back. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I get it. Lisa, on so many occasions, talks to him, I don't like you, you know, yeah. or she rejects him on so many occasions. I want it all. <laughs> you think you can get it all from Mark? If he can't give me what I want, somebody else will. Lisa, you're sounding just like your mother. You're being so manipulative. So <sighs> what? You can learn something from me. You have to take as much as you can. You have to live, live, live. <laughs> Lisa is a beast of nature. Wow. Oh, yeah. So manipulative. So callous. So callous. So callous. Amazingly callous. Amazingly callous. She was a terror. She was a terror. She's a terror. She's a terror. He was shrinking last <laughs> night and then beat me. Do you remember? I'm like, the degree, the degree to, to which you have to go to try and get people on your side to validate you. You do not have to do all of that. All you have to do is just pack your bags and leave. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's hot in here. Do you mind? No. Ooh, let's go make out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Just admire her. I, I can't. Okay, You're yeah. too good. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa shows a boob and it's all, it's over. That's it. That's all you need. That's it. Um, Moral of the story. People suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. That's some <laughs> stuff that we thought about. The room. Well, what did you guys think? Have you seen it? Let us know in the comments down below. Share your thoughts and our thoughts. Have you seen the room? If you haven't, mm -hmm. good for you. <laughs> <laughs> good call. Oh no. no. Till next time. Thanks for watching. That's right. <laughs> Peace. Bye. <laughs>